There was a mediation session held at the Hawthorne Football Club. During that meeting, it became clear that Sam Mitchell would rather have clean air to have a fresh start next year without Alistair Clarkson by his side. If Jeff Kennett had his way, Sam Mitchell would be the senior coach of the Hawthorne Football Club next year. That is absolutely incorrect. I've never said that. I've consistently said I want Alistair there. Caro, you don't think you've always said Clarko won't be there next year? Is that I don't saying? believe he'll and be there. And Hutchie, you don't year? believe he'll be there next year either? No. I don't think Alastair Clarkson will be the coach of Hawthorne next year. My well, gut feel says that he won't be. I kind of get a bit pissed off with people saying that. The fact that people would say that I'm trying to push him out is disrespectful to both of us. The only people that are saying it's not going to work out like that are people with a genuine lack of knowledge who say they're speaking to people at the club. Sam should be very careful about what he says about his premiership coach. You don't get to issue warnings after he comes out and tells the truth. Once I was no longer going to be the coach of the Hawthorne Football Club at the end of next year, the sceptics were saying, oh, well, he'll, he'll move straight away. Now, that's, that's the in sickness or in health for me. I'm going to continue on and do this role until the end of next year. Well, it was an emotional week. Caroline, you set off a storm on this last week and a bit to delve with here. So I have some questions for you, which are, are admittedly are many that have been asked of me and others along the way. So let's get into it. Uh, without casting judgment... Kennett, Clarkson and Mitchell all refuted, in essence, what you said last week. Do you stand by what you said? I absolutely stand by what I said. I, I, what, I actually, what do you say to those well, who say they've... Con- well, Je- Jeff Kennett wasn't at the meeting and, and I don't think Alistair Clarkson actually refuted what I said last week, except to say that he will be coach at Hawthorne next year. And I, mean, and, I, and I said last Monday... The interpretation was that what you said... Uh, most people Alistair have Clarkson widely... didn't refute what I said last Monday night, except to say that he will be there next year. And I even made the point last Monday that that game against Melbourne, I thought, had sort of created a bit of a shift in thinking of Alistair and that he might well dig in. Although, you know, he might well dig in. And, and, I, and I think it's shifted again. And I think he really does now envisage a scenario where he will try and be the better person and mentor Sam Mitchell into a senior coaching role the following year. Although I'm not convinced yet that it will happen. You, you said there that Sam Mitchell better be careful in what he says about Alistair Clarkson. What did you mean by that? I think it's pretty obvious what I meant by well, that. I don't think it is. I, it's been a widely I know, asked question. I neither, I neither back away from it, nor do I wish to clarify what I said, Craig. Maybe some things have been said this year and in recent months in moments of frustration that I don't think should be said about a premiership well, coach. I, I think there's That's all I'm going to say, so don't push me. No, I can push you on this because it's, it's a reasonable question. There's an inference there that you feel he's being duplicitous in what he's saying publicly versus what he's saying privately. I never use the word duplicitous. You're using that word. I am using it. Is that a fair assessment? I think there have been frustrations in recent months and maybe things have been said that um, maybe now are are regretted. Do you think that Sam Mitchell was misleading in his interview last week then? I believe that others at that meeting definitely... Look, they sat down, they thrashed things out and they disagreed on strategy. They disagreed on coaching philosophies, many things. They disagreed on list management, many things. They tried to work out how it was going to work and it was made clear to others in the meeting that Sam Mitchell would prefer to be have the major say on all of those things and be the senior coach next so, year. Uh, two quick ones to finish and then we'll move on. Do you think Alistair Clarkson, despite his 11 minute uh, opener on Friday, has a different view of that meaning to Sam Mitchell? I, I'm not going to I'm not going to try and get, second guess anyone on this, Craig. I simply stand by what I said okay. last week. Last one, there was a fair bit of backlash about what you said last week. I, I know that comes with the territory, and you and you're used to it. Do you think this was a little bit, a little bit more on the sharp end than what you expected? No. I want to ask you, you one. You, you, you know, you know a bit about this situation too. You've spoken about it a lot. Do you think that I was wrong? I, I'm not here to sit in judgment of what. No, I'm just asking you. It was your story, not mine. No, I've I've, I've heard other senior journos comment on this and they haven't disputed it. I I don't think that when all is said and done, he'll be coaching round one next year. See, that shocks me, Hutchie. When I hear him say in sickness and in health and he's been asked countless times of him to stand up there, Hutchie, for the 11 minutes you just touched on, he can't go now. What what makes you still say that he won't be coaching there next year? Because nine months is a long way away in a complicated issue like this, right? He is contracted 
his obligation is to that position, yes. and that's what he is right and fair to say. You're just. You're, but I think a lot of water can go. Are you saying there. he's only saying it for the time? No, no I'm not. I'm not doubting what he's saying. I'm saying if you look at all the things that could play out from here, mm. I still think there's a greater well, chance. What's the scenario, that? Hutchie? That what's when you say all the things that could play out? He's referenced family tragedy, mm. his connection to yep. Hawthorne players, past and present. He said, as Lordo said, in sickness mm. and in health. What's an example of a scenario where he would not be the coach? I, I can't see one reason or scenario okay. that he's not coaching round one. Can well, you can you give us an example? A, it's just an opinion. It's neither right nor wrong. No, he, but he's asking no, you, you but the you scenario. Said a, you said there's a is range of scenarios that yeah. could happen. Is it... there's, there's six weeks to go. There's nine months for them to coexist. There's other clubs in the market for a coach. There's tension that gets borne by offers. There's all sorts of things that could happen. He mm. might be the coach next year. I just think if you're forced to have a pick, I'd be learning... My market would be What do you think, Caro? Because you've been as strong as anyone that he won't be there. I I do think there was a significant shift in the last week. I thought that was one of his finest performances. And I said this to Matthew on radio on Saturday. I think he's been incredibly emotional. I think he's gone through several stages of grieving. There is no doubt he was devastated when the news first broke. And we know the way he spoke to his CEO, etc. I I don't believe that he is out of... I don't think he'll go to Collingwood, but I think Carlton are definitely still interested in him. And I don't think people... If he did change what he said on Friday, people would judge him. However, Mm. I'm more leaning now that he might be more likely to stay. And as for the sharp end of criticism, the Essendon Football Club put out press releases on a weekly basis about me during the drug scandal. This is absolutely nothing. I knew <laughs> when I made those comments there would be a backlash. But, and I knew that Jeff Kennett wouldn't like it and I knew that Sam Mitchell wouldn't yeah, like I'd, it. I'd but I don't, I don't think it's anywhere near the sharp end of what I've received in the okay. past. I admire you for holding your ground. I was just asking the question of how you saw it. The interesting thing about Collingwood is they have made inquiries, I believe, about Alistair, but haven't, haven't been able to get through at this stage. I so, don't reckon he'll answer yeah. Carlton's call either. Do you? No. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm leaning more to that too. But there is a battle going on between Carlton and Collingwood. I mean, you mentioned Michael Voss in your list of Carlton before. My, my understanding is that he's been in Melbourne and Collingwood have contacted Michael Voss. Mm. So we now potentially have two clubs, as we've said, looking for coaches together. Hutchie, if he, does, if he does stay on and, and carry, I think this has been well documented, but the list management strategy will be taken out of his hands and that is a good thing. So we all admire, we all recognise one of the greatest coaches in the modern era, but if there's one chink, it is he's got a horrible record in the last six years when it comes to list management. These are all the players that have come in from other clubs, which you could argue have been not successful, besides perhaps Tom Mitchell has taken up salary cap room, it means they've neglected the draft. So I think, as we know, that'll be taken out of his hands. And that's a good thing because it's the one, I guess, little blip blip on his record. Not according to what he said on Friday, Kane. He said that we'll be doing things together. We got it wrong in the way we tried to do it. I was going to coach for the present, Sam, for the future. That wasn't going to work. So, you know, the disputes are continuing. Yeah, it'll be hotly debated in in the weeks to come, no doubt about that.